Hi guys, my name is Alexis and thank you so much for watching my video. Today I am making a curly to straight hair routine. I've seen so many of these on YouTube and I've always wanted to make one so I'm finally doing that today. And I do not remember the last time I straightened my hair, maybe over a year ago. So I'm super excited to do this and see what it looks like. I don't want to make this a long intro so I will just show you what I used in the shower and what straightener I'm going to be using. In the shower, I shampooed my hair with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. I love this shampoo and I've been using it for so long. You've probably seen it in my other videos. And I'm also using the Manuka Honey and Refer Oil Hydration Hair Mask. And then after I rinse this out, I apply the Miss Jessie's Leave-In Conditioner. I always use this to detangle and hydrate my hair. So currently this is the only product that I have in my hair. And I am super excited to use this new straightener. The company Duval sent it to me. This is their best selling hair straightener. And I read so many great reviews about it on their website. So I will be using this to straighten my hair and letting you guys know how it works. This is called the Impulse Professional Flat Iron. And I also have a discount code if you guys would like to use it. I will put it on the screen here and also in the description box below and let's get into the video. So I just took the flat iron out of the box and plugged it in and this is what it looks like. The heat settings ranges from 270 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I think I'm gonna use 410 degrees Fahrenheit and see how that straightens over the curls because usually I will blow dry my hair and then straighten it, but today I just left it curly to see how well this will straighten over my hair. Every time I go to straighten my hair, my hair decides to have a good hair day and work with me. Pretty sure every girl with curly hair knows what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna start by taking a small section of my hair and then just tying the rest up. Also, when people ask why people with curly hair do not brush out their hair, this is exactly why. Because it gets super, super frizzy. I only brush my hair when I'm in the shower. This is what that piece looks like. Nice. I used to straighten my hair almost every single day when I was in middle school because I did not like having curly hair. And no one in my middle school had curly hair, so I felt really weird just wearing it natural. And I'm so glad that once I got to high school, I learned to love my curly hair and had great friends that told me to wear my hair curly. And ever since then, I've been doing that. But once in a while, I love when it's straight because it's so much easier to deal with. And it's fun to change it up once in a while. I have to go over the pieces of hair about three times to really get it straight. Last piece in this section underneath. So it straightened my hair pretty good and it feels really soft. So let's take the next section down and I just kind of repeat the process, just taking a little bit from this top part. Okay, hopefully that stays. I will come a little bit closer to show you guys what it looks like up close. Okay, need to go over it a few more times. This is nice, I don't even need to brush my hair because it's already detangled from when I took a shower. Okay, 
I need to turn the fan on because it's really hot in here. And the fan is not helping. <laughs> it's just blowing my hair everywhere. Every time I straighten my hair, my arms feel so sore the next day. It's like an arm workout every time I do this. Last small piece right here, and then I'll go to the next section. And I should have been timing this to see how long it's going to take me. So far it's been about 20 minutes, so I will start the clock now. My camera is actually about to die, so I'm going to go charge it for a little bit, finish this half, and then I'll be back with you guys for the rest. Alright guys, I'm back, and my camera is charged again. I'm so sorry about that. So I finished almost all of it, and so far it's way, way longer than I expected. I didn't know that my hair had grown this much, because when it's curly, it always shrinks up. And... I think it's taken me about 50 minutes total, so I'm almost at an hour, and I'm going to finish this top part, and then I will be done. So this is pretty much all that I have left for this side, and you can see when it's curly how much shorter it is than when it's straight. That's like four inches almost, which is insane. So, let's get started on this side. Notice that it has been easier if I brush out my hair before going over it with a flat iron. I also did increase the temperature to 450 degrees just to see how it compares to 410. I definitely like 450 degrees better. It straightens my hair a lot quicker. I am just sometimes worried about how hot that temperature is and if it does a lot more damage to my hair. But I also don't straighten my hair that often, so it shouldn't be too bad. only a little bit left and then I will probably have to go over a few pieces again with the flat iron because I always miss some and then it should be all done. All right, let's finish this. All right, last piece. This actually felt a lot quicker than I expected to straighten all of my hair without blow drying it beforehand. I 
I always have bumps in the back of my hair when I straighten it. I don't know why, if I just don't do small enough pieces or what. I need to go back in and fix those real quick. I actually asked my mom to help me finish a few pieces in the back because I can never get all of the bumps out. So I should have introduced you earlier when she came in. Guys, this is my mom, Dana. Hello. And yeah, so does it look like it needs some touch up? I touch up, but it looks good. Thank you. Okay, here's the flat iron. Also, there was one time she was uh -huh. using a crimper. <laughs> this brings back so many memories for us. There was one time she was using a crimper on my hair, and I was standing here and my knees were locked, and I passed out, hit my head on the bathtub, and we had to go to the emergency room. But anytime she straightens my hair like this now, we just have really bad memories. Thank you so for nice. helping. Wow. Yours comes on your armpit. Mine's not done my armpit yet. This makes me want to straighten it more. All right, guys, my hair is completely straightened now. It took about an hour and 20 minutes total. This flat iron is really, really awesome, especially since I did not blow dry my hair beforehand and it was able to straighten over all the curls. I will definitely be using this again. And remember, if you want to purchase one, that I have the coupon code for you down below so you can get a discount. And my hair feels so long. I really, really love the results. And my hair has never been colored, so there's no color damage. There's not a lot of heat damage. The only thing I notice is that I do need to get my ends trimmed because they're pretty split. And yeah. That's it. If you guys have any other video suggestions for me, leave them down below in the comments. And any questions about straightening your hair or if you need uh, curly hair advice or any tips, then let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!